Kamala Harris and Tim Walls have been making waves today with the announcement of Tim Walls as her vice presidential pick. And most people think that Tim Walls is a great pick, but MAGA Republicans don't really like him. But that's true for every Democrat, so honestly, if they don't like him, that's probably a good sign. However, with this announcement, we've had many high-profile people responding to it, including Mark Cuban. And he made a major prediction as a response to Harris's vice presidential pick. And we'll take a look at that in a second, but Mark Cuban wasn't the only high profile person who had something to say. John Voigt made a video telling people how evil Kamala Harris is and how Donald Trump would save them all. This video is just absolutely insane and really shows you just how dumb some of these people are. So let's go ahead and take a look at this video. The war of our lifetime now. We the people are in trouble if this nation picks Kamala Harris. We must stop this crime that is happening. It's a war crime that Obama is directing and Kamala Harris will be the cackling hyena that just listens and repeats. If we do not stop this horror, you, my friends, will have the biggest horror that you will not know how to end. We must all see this truth, become one with this understanding that God will guide us with words of wisdom that we may understand that Donald Trump will make any sacrifice to save America. We the people are in danger and we must vote for President Trump because he will save this nation. And the left are all afraid of his strength because he is only for the people. He's not for the power, for the greed, the lies, or wanting to destroy one's hard earned earnings. We must stop this madness now, our children are in danger. The left is trying to take away your children and turn them into non-binaries. You all on the left, the ones who are my peers that preach, you all know who you are. What have you all learned in this life? Have you learned the lessons that will bring you to the higher place of eternity? This is now all your lessons. For each one who votes against Trump, this will be among the worst crimes that you will see in your lives. Now is it just me, or does it feel like we get crazy videos like this all the time now? John Voight is so clearly delusional, it is weird that he actually believes the things that come out of his mouth. Like, does he actually believe that the left wants to steal children and turn them into non-binary people? Genuine question, when is the last time that you wanted to steal a child? Because personally, I have never once wanted to steal a child, let alone try to make them non-binary. I don't even know how you would do that. Here's the thing, the right is always complaining about the left's indoctrination when the right are truly the ones who are trying to get us to believe and think a certain way. Because no rational person wants to actually steal a child, just like no rational person would actually want to vote for Donald Trump. In fact, the support for Kamala Harris and Tim Walls have been off the charts today. Just look at this long line of people waiting to support them in Pennsylvania. So yeah, a ton of people are supporting Kamala Harris and Tim Walls as they start their campaign together. Even high profile people like Mark Cuban are. So let's take a look at what he had to say about Tim Walls. He says, on the Tim Walls choice, I think people who don't like it are missing the lesson of the switch to Harris. She went from worst to first as people got to know her. It's not a reach to think the same thing will happen with Walls. People are tired of the ideologues and hate from both parties. They want to vote for normal people they can relate to. Walls can sit at the kitchen table and make you feel like you have known him forever. That's an incredible skill these days. Now personally, I think Mark Cuban is right on the money with this statement. Tim Walls was not really a household name, and that's for good reason. He hasn't done anything extreme or crazy, he's just sort of a good governor. He does what he has to do well, but doesn't draw too much attention to himself. Unlike Marjorie Taylor Greene, for example, who does nothing well and just completely draws attention to herself. But I think Mark Cuban is right about this. As we get to know Tim Walls more and more, I think we're going to come to love him even more. And from the few clips that we've seen of him, he seems like a very fun and upstanding guy. 
guy. And what I find really interesting about Tim Walls is he's not super progressive. And when I say that, I'm not saying that he's like moderate, he definitely is more progressive, but people on the right are making him out to be like this super extreme communist who, you know, hates everyone and just wants the world to end. And that is just not true. Because when you take a look at what he actually believes in, it is pretty just standard stuff that you would think that anyone could get behind. Like who would not want free school lunches for their child? And so this is just yet another example of Republicans who are saying, oh, he's a communist, oh, he's a socialist, without really knowing what those terms actually mean. And it's just so funny because if those same people were to meet Tim Walls in public, they would not think those things at all. And I think this is why Mark Cuban is right on the money with this, because as people get to see more and more from Tim Walls, they're going to say, you know what, actually, that's not so bad, because overall, everyone but the ultra MAGA Republicans Republicans love Tim Walls, and I think we're all super excited to see how this campaign evolves over the coming months. Because if Harris and Walls work together, I think they'll be able to overcome anything that comes their way this November.